hi my favorites welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to be learning how to cut and sew this stylish jumpsuit it is easy and it is also beginners friendly so if this is your first time coming across my channel you are highly welcome please do not forget to subscribe like share and comment if you have any parts you don't understand please let me know if you're my returning subscriber god bless you all so the name of the fabric i use is a crepe fabric so let's get straight into the video I use one yard for the upper side and I use one and a half yards for the down part and the down part is called a shining crepe okay so this is my pattern paper I'm going to be drafting the upper side first I fold my pattern paper into two and I came down by half inch which is going to be my starting point also known as my shoulder line So from that one, I'm going to measure the length of my, the length I want it to be. So I'm using 17 inches for it. So from there, I'll measure my bust length also. My shoulder to my bust and my shoulder to my waist. So after that, I connect the lines together. I'm going to label it shoulder line, bust line and waist line. My shoulder measurement is 14 divided by 2 is 7 inches. I'm going to be marking the 7 inches and I'll come down by 1 inch for shoulder slope and I'll also mark out my armhole measurement. How to get your armhole measurement is by dividing your bust by 6. Whatever you have, you add extra 1 inch allowance, 1.5 inch allowance. So the neck width that I use is 3 inches and the neck depth I use is 3 inches. This is um we are still going to cut it out i'm just trying to create a basic body pattern okay so i'm going to be connecting the shoulder slope together right now so this armhole line is also going to be known as our chest line so what i'm going to do is dividing my bust measurement divided by two whatever i have i added extra 1.5 inch allowance I also divide my waist measurement divided by two. I, I also added extra 1.5 inch allowance. I'm not using any darts for this because if you look at the video in the thumbnail, there is no darts. So I'm going to be connecting my armhole. So now this is our basic body pattern all right so for my bust line i went up by eight and uh, for my chest line i mean to say i went up by six inches for my chest line which is also for my bust line i went up by seven inches okay so from that seven inches i'm going to connect it in a curve you just the way you see me doing it to the armhole all right just the way you see me doing i'm going to connect it to the armhole so i'm going to be using my ruler right now to connect it so it can be more visible so after that the next thing is just to cut it out then i'll be cutting the back piece also i'll be using this to cut the back piece all right so this is a new pattern paper i place it on i draft out the same thing for the front you can see i've not cut out the front pattern yet you can see i just cut like a basic body so that i can be able to cut out my back so for my chest line i went up by one inch for my chest line that is where i want how low i want my back to be so for the zipper this is the zipper allowance for on the waistline i came in by one inch the zipper allowance i use is 1.5 inches but from the waistline i came in by half inch i use one inch for the waistline then for the other side i use 1.5 inches the next thing i'm going to do is just to cut it out So I'm also cutting out the front pattern also. So this is how it's going to look like when you fold it 
and this is how it is going to look like so i'm going to be labeling it back pattern and also front pattern so for our trouser i'm going to be coming down the next i'm going to be cutting right now is our trouser the down part okay so i'm going to be going in by two inches and from the upside i came down by one inch from this front side the center line i came in by two inches then i connect the whole lines together The reason why I came out with all these allowances so that if I want to join, if I want to add allowance for the joining, it will be easier for me. So from the waistline, I came down by 11 inches. This is my crotch depth. And how to get your crotch depth is by dividing your hip measurement by 4. Whatever you have, you add extra 1 inch allowance. That is how to get your accurate crotch depth. So the next thing I'm doing, I'm marking out my hip line from my waist to my hip. And on my crotch depth, I'm going to be marking out my hip measurement divided by 4. In my own case, it is 10 inches. So when I went to the waist, I used 9.5 inches instead. Because I want the waist to be very flat. The front side to be very flat. I hope you understand what I mean. I connect the line in a slant way then i measure my waist measurement divided by four plus extra one inch allowance for that i measure from this line the hip line that is where i measured it from and i'm connecting it to my hip line now so i'm going to divide my waist by two, whatever i have there on my waist i'm going to mark it and that is where i'm going to be putting my dots for my front that's what i use is four inches for the length of the dots that is what i use then i'm going to be taking half inch on both sides and i will mark it together so how to get your accurate front crotch extension is by dividing your hip by 20. whatever you have that is your accurate front crotch extension then i'm going to curve it to my hip line now what i'm doing right now i'm measuring for i'm marking out my waist to my knee okay and on my knee line i'm going to go in by half inch from the starting point and also on the other side i'm going to come in by half inch also then i'll connect it So the length of the trouser that I'm using is 42 inches. That is the length that I'm using for this pine. I'll do the same thing I did on the nail. I came in by half inch from the starting point and from the other side also came in by half inch. Then I connect the lines together. So right now what I'm doing is I'm adding my joining allowance all the way around. I added half inch joining allowance also both on the waistline. So I'm cutting out my pattern now. This is the pattern that I'm going to be using to cut out the back pattern. So for my back piece, this is another I this is another pattern paper. I came in by two inches and also came down by two inches. All right. So you can see the way I place my front piece. I place it from that line. So I'm going to be marking out the lines. I'm going to be tracing out the lines, the front lines. I'm going to be tracing it out. So from this side that I'm indicating that this line, this is our hip line that we marked on the crotch. So I'm going to mark it also on the back. 
okay that is what i'm trying to do i indicate i mark it from the back on the back then i'll call i'll mark out my crotch line now from that line i'm going to come in by half inch all right so i'm going to come in by half inch then from the waist from the front waist i came in by 1.5 inches then i connect the both lines together all right this is our new line now for the back so from that new line i mark out my hip measurement divided by four i added extra 0 0.75 inch allowance so the same thing i mark out the other is same thing i mark out on my hip line so on this waistline i'm going to go up by one inch allowance if you are if you're on a bigger size you can use 1.5 inches okay or two inches depending on how big you are i'll measure what i have on my waistline for the front i'm going to be putting it at the back okay that is my waist divided by four plus um one inch for that you can see the way i did it i put it as an i i place it in a slant way okay i came up by half inch from that starting point and you can see the way i'm connecting it to the hip line next we're going to do right now is to mark out the darts for the back the length of the dart that i use for the back is five inches that is the length that i use for the back darts while for the front dart i use four inches while marking your dart make sure it is straight okay it's not curved the way like it's not bent measure it's very straight while marking out your back dart So right now I'm adding my allowance all the way around. So now we're going to be putting our back crotch extension from this new line. That's we're going to be marking our back crotch extension. And how to get to accurate back crotch extension is by dividing your hip measurements by 10. Whatever you have, that is your back crotch extension. Then you connect it to your hip line. So right now what I'm doing is I'm adding my half inch allowance all the way round except the hemming side So what I'm trying to do right here is to explain to you guys what I did. Okay. That is what I'm trying to do right here. But if you have any question on any part you did not understand in this pattern drafting, please let me know in the comment section. I'm going to be making a very detailed video on how to cut paint with accurate measurements how to take your accurate measurements also for your client how to take accurate measurements for your client so now we're done drafting our pattern paper this is the other side okay this is the damp part so i'm going to be cutting it on fabric which i am done doing that as you can see i'm done cutting everything on fabric so on this side i added half inch allowance on my upper side you can see added half inch allowance for joining 
and on the side also I added one inch allowance so now this is a piece my back paint piece so I measure where I want my zipper to stop then I curve the other one the other remaining part to the crotch line so I'm going to be joining that part that I just mark out and I'll do the same thing on the front also so after that this is how it's looking I also went ahead to join the dots so this is the front you can see I also went ahead to join the dots also so this is this the the, the rope that I cut out for the sleeve all right you can decide how long you want yours to be so this is how i want mine to be and this is the front the upper side i also went ahead to cut out a facing that is going to cover it very well so i notch where my arm hole started from from that that point where my arm hole started from that is where i'm going to be attaching one of my sleeve okay i'm going to be attaching one of it and I will use the lining to cover it up and I will sew it. I will do the same thing on the other side. I will do the same thing on the back piece. I'll stitch it and I will hem it. I'll stitch it and I'll give it a top stitch and I'll hem it down. So after doing that, this is how it is looking. Everything is coming together. So I'm done joining it with the facing. I also inputting the sleeve. So this is how the front side is looking. The upper front side. This is how it is looking. If you want us to form more, you can, while drafting it on the pattern paper, you go up more. I hope you understand. Since I use 7 inches, you can use 9 inches, 10 inches, depending on how you want us to form. So um, I notch the center. I fold my fabric into two, the, my front piece into two. I notch it to get the center. Then I'm, I match it together with the front spines. Okay. The excess fabric that is remaining, you can see the way I'm printing it on the dark side. So I'm going to be using hemi gum to gum it to gum this facing together to the fabric. So the same thing I did for the back, I'm also going to do it for for the front i did for the front i'm also going to do it for the back i'll join the upper back piece and the damp part together also after that i'm going to be joining it together with half inch allowance And I also I will insert my zipper and I also use my hemming gum to hem everything down and I will fold the damp part also. So after doing that, this is how it's is looking i'm done inserting my zipper and joining everything together so this is how it is looking so right now what i'm going to do i'm going to be placing the front and the back piece together just the way you see me doing make sure the lines are aligned together
Then after draining it together, I'm going to measure my bust measurement divided by two by two and my waist measurement divided by two i'll connect it then i'll from the damp part that is the trouser side i'll be using one inch allowance to just join everything down because this fabric is stretchy but i find out that i use the stretchy part as the length that is i just find that right now that i use the stretchy part as the length not the width so that is why if you notice at the beginning of my video you can notice that the zipper is just folding at the back because of it is very stretchy okay i hope you understand so after joining it together on the side the next thing i'm going to do is to match the two crotch together then i will join it on the crotch line also so after that i will jumpsuit is ready it's looking so beautiful so guys if you watch the end of this video god bless you thank you for watching please subscribe like share and comment stay tuned to the next video bye